everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing this eyeshadow look right here but the best part is that i use one brush to create this entire eye look just because i'm always using a lot of different brushes and i just feel like it's not super realistic for everyone to have you know a million different eyeshadow brushes of different sorts so we did this entire look using the sigma e25 brush but you can use any brush that is similar to this if you want to see similar videos like it just let me know but if you want to see how to get this look then just stay tuned step number one with this look is going to be to prime the eyelid you can use either a clear one like this one. This is the Fenty Beauty Eye Primer. Or you can use a tinted one like the MAC Paint Pods or whatever you prefer. You just want to go in with some sort of primer. And I'm just blending that in with my finger. When doing these one brush type of looks, I always gravitate towards this specific brush shape. So here are two alternatives to that. This one right here is the original MAC 217. So this is the natural hair version, not the new synthetic version. Um, or this one you can easily get. This is a Sigma E25. You can see they are the same shape. So when I turn them to the side, they're more pinched and flat. Then when I turn it, it's more wide and it is a fluffy brush. And for comparison, here is it compared to a regular fluffy brush. You can see I can use like the side of it like a shading brush and then the tip of it for blending. Honestly, it kind of does everything for me, but something like this. For the eyeshadows, I'm just gonna be dipping into my MAC Singles. So I'm gonna start out with this shade right here, which is Brulee. So I'm just going in with that brush to set that entire base with a little bit of that product. I don't want a lot because I don't want it to prevent the eyeshadows from being pigmented. So just enough to allow everything to blend. I'm gonna start out with MAC Soft Brown. You can see that I applied that eyeshadow to the tip of the brush and I'm going to take that brush long ways so this would be like short ways I'm going to take it long ways and I'm going to start to work that into the crease doing back and forth motions and then once most of that is off of my brush I'm going to start to bring it up to kind of blend it out when I'm doing the diffusing part of this I'm going to do very light pressure now I'm just dipping into a little bit more to really build up that color so here's how it's looking with just the one color I'm going to take my brush and wipe it off on a paper towel to kind of remove the excess product and we're going to go in with the next shade for the next shade I'm going to go in with cork so for this I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to look down into my mirror and I'm going to make sure this stays directly directly into my crease area. I don't want it to go up as high as the soft brown shade. So I'm doing the same thing, just blending that back and forth, but I'm just keeping that in that crease. Okay, now I just apply that shade on the flat side of the brush, as you can see. But now I'm gonna take that flat side of that brush, I'm going to pack that on the outer corner. You can see I'm just kind of pressing that in, and then I'm gonna go in with that tip of the brush and start to diffuse that up into the crease. And now I just wiped my brush off and I'm going to go along those edges to make sure it stays nice and blended. Next, I'm gonna take the shade Embark and I also have that kind of on the flat side of that brush. And I'm just going to look down into my mirror and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna press that on the outer corner. I'm just not gonna take it up into the crease like we did that last color. So I'm just pressing that and slowly starting to do circular motions to blend that out. And I just wiped off that brush on that paper towel. I'm going to diffuse those edges. Now, before I dip into my shimmer colors with this brush, I'm going to apply my concealer so we can do the lower lash line. Okay, now the concealer is fully applied. I'm gonna take that brush with the soft brown shade just on the tip of that. I'm going to buff that on the lower lash line from inner corner to outer corner. I'm really making sure to connect on this outer corner right here. And I just wiped that off and got a little bit of cork. I'm gonna put that at the lashes. But I'm just trying to focus this a little bit more closer to my lashes versus as far down. Now I have the shade Embark on the tip of the brush and I'm actually just pinching it with my finger. So I'm just pinching that with my finger and I'm actually just going to apply that at the lash line like so. Okay, and now I just wiped off that brush and I'm going to buff that out and wrap it up around to the top. Putting a little bit more Embark on that outer corner. I really want it to connect on this outer corner right here. Now I'm just getting up close into my mirror to buff that color across. And to blend this spot out right here, I'm just gonna go back in with soft brown and diffuse everything. Okay, so here's where we are right now with just the matte shades. You could do a black and do that same pinching motion and kind of put it down at the lash line, but I kind of wanna keep it like this. So I'm gonna go in with my lid shade. And for that, I'm taking the shade Honey Lust. So what I did for this is I sprayed my brush with my setting spray and I just got that on the side so we can use it as a flat brush. And now I'm just gonna go in with that brush and do little stamping motions on the lid. Okay, I feel like I keep getting 
blurry for some reason. I just went to get a little bit more. I'm just putting that on and I'm actually doing just windshield wiper motions to blend that into the matte colors like so. Now I'm taking the shade rice paper. Again, I just applied this to the tip of the brush and I'm going to highlight that inner corner with this brush. I did wipe it off from the Honey Lush shade we were using. Here's what we're working with. I'm going to apply mascara lashes and I'll show you the completed look. I just popped on my eyelashes and here is the completed look. This is just one of the many looks that you can create using just one brush, which was this one right here. So if you want to see any more looks like this using one brush, one specific type of brush, just let me know and I can definitely get that up for you guys. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.